in the heart of a forgotten town, shrouded in the mists of time and cloaked in an eerie silence. There was a legend that whispered through the crumbling walls and desolate streets. It was a tale not often spoken aloud, for fear that merely uttering the words would summon the unspeakable horrors it contained. Eleanor, a curious and intrepid journalist, had always been fascinated by the paranormal and unexplained mysteries. Her latest assignment led her to this ghost town. Driven by rumors of spectral sightings and unexplained phenomena that occurred under the cloak of night, she arrived as dusk painted the sky in hues of deep purple and blood red, the perfect backdrop for a story she hoped would be her magnum opus. Armed with nothing but her camera, voice recorder, and an insatiable thirst for the truth. Eleanor ventured into the heart of the town, the streets lined with dilapidated buildings and overgrown with nature's reclaiming grasp, echoed with the sounds of her solitary footsteps. As the last vestiges of light retreated beyond the horizon, an unsettling chill permeated the air, and a dense fog began to roll in enveloping the town in a suffocating embrace. Eleanor's heart raced as she recorded her observations, her voice barely a whisper against the oppressive silence. There's something unnerving about this place, she noted, as if the very air is thick with the whispers of those who once lived here. As she delved deeper into the town, Eleanor could shake the feeling of being watched. Shadows seemed to move just beyond the corner of her eye, and the wind carried what sounded like faint, distant whispers. Determined to uncover the truth, she pressed on, guided by the dim light of her flashlight. It was then that she stumbled upon the town's forsaken heart, an ancient cemetery shrouded in a veil of mist. Tombstones, worn and cracked, stood as silent sentinels, guarding the secrets of the dead. In the center, a mausoleum loomed, its doors ajar, beckoning her closer with an inexplicable pull. Eleanor's pulse quickened as she approached, her mind racing with possibilities of what lay within. As she crossed the threshold, a cold gust of wind extinguished her flashlight, plunging her into darkness. Panic set in as she fumbled to relight it. But before she could, a soft, eerie melody filled the air, its source unseen. The melody, both haunting and mesmerizing, seemed to seep into her very soul, guiding her deeper into the mausoleum. With each step, the air grew colder and the melody more insistent. Just as she felt she could go no further, the melody ceased abruptly, replaced by a deafening silence. In the darkness, Eleanor sensed a presence before her, ancient and malevolent, its intentions unreadable. She reached out to record her final observation her voice trembling with fear and awe. There's something here with me, something that defies explanation. I don't know if I can... The recording cut off abruptly, leaving only silence in its wake. Back in the safety of daylight, the tape recorder was found lying at the entrance of the mausoleum, its owner nowhere to be seen. Eleanor's fate remained a mystery her story unfinished, a chilling testament to the town's haunted legacy. And so the legend grew, a tale of curiosity, a descent into darkness, and an encounter with the unknown, forever suspended in the shadowy realm of what might have been, waiting for someone brave 
or foolish enough to continue the story. Continuing from where we left off, our protagonist, Alex, found themselves walking down a seemingly endless, dimly lit path. The moon was obscured by thick clouds, casting an eerie shadow over everything. The only sound was the crunch of gravel underfoot and the distant howl of an unknown creature, which seemed to be getting closer with each step. Alex had been walking for what felt like hours. The initial courage that had propelled them forward, now replaced by a gnawing sense of dread. Every rustle in the bushes, every snap of a twig, sent shivers down their spine. They began to regret their decision to take this shortcut home. A path rumored to be haunted by the spirits of those who'd met untimely deaths in the surrounding woods. As they continued, the path began to narrow. The overgrown branches clawing at their clothes like the hands of the dead, trying to pull them into the darkness. In the distance, a faint light flickered, offering a glimmer of hope. Alex quickened their pace, drawn to the light like a moth to a flame. But with each step, a sinking feeling grew in their stomach. Something was off. The light wasn't getting any closer. Suddenly, the ground beneath them gave way, and they tumbled down a hidden embankment, landing with a thud at the bottom of a shallow ravine. Dazed and disoriented, Alex struggled to their feet, their heart pounding in their chest. The fall had knocked the wind out of them as they tried to catch their breath, they realized they were not alone. Peering through the darkness, they could make out a figure standing at the edge of the ravine, silhouetted against the night sky. The figure was motionless, its intentions unclear. Alex called out, hoping for some sign of friendliness, but the figure remained silent. Its presence ominous and foreboding. With a surge of adrenaline, Alex began to climb out of the ravine, their hands grasping at roots and rocks, desperate to escape the unnerving gaze of the mysterious figure. Just as they reached the top, a cold hand gripped their ankle, pulling them back with an inhuman strength. Alex kicked and screamed fighting against the unseen force, but it was relentless. In a final act of desperation, Alex managed to break free, scrambling away from the edge and back onto the path. They didn't dare look back, their mind racing with fear. The path ahead was shrouded in darkness. The light that had once seemed so promising now, nowhere to be seen, panting and exhausted, Alex pressed on. The chilling encounter at the ravine, a stark reminder of the dangers that lurked in the shadows. The path twisted and turned, leading them deeper into the unknown. And as they ventured further, a chilling realization dawned on them. The path wasn't just leading them away from home, it was leading them somewhere else entirely, somewhere sinister and uncharted. The story ends here for now, leaving Alex's fate hanging in the balance, their journey far from over, what lies ahead on this mysterious path, and what horrors await them in the darkness remains to be seen. In the thick of the night, the unseen figure now a memory shadowed by the dense foliage. Alex's heart raced as they pushed forward. The path, once a mere whisper of a trail, seemed to grow even fainter, blending into the wild underbrush that clawed at their legs with thorny fingers. The air hung heavy, a mixture of mist and an unplaceable metallic scent 
seemed to seep from the very ground beneath their feet. As the moon fought to pierce through the heavy cloud cover, fleeting glimpses of light illuminated the path in haunting flashes, revealing gnarled trees that twisted into grotesque shapes as if tormented. The howl that had once seemed distant now echoed all around chorus of despair that seemed to mock Alex's every step, pressing on, driven by a primal urge to escape the enveloping dread, Alex stumbled upon a clearing. Here, the moonlight bathed an ancient stone well in a ghostly glow, drawn by a morbid curiosity and the hope of finding a landmark that might guide them back to familiar territory. Alex approached. Peering into the well's abyss, they were met with an eerie silence. The expected echo of a stone dropped into its depths never came. Swallowed by an oppressive void, it was as if the well was not just a structure, but a gateway, a portal, silencing the very essence of sound and light. Suddenly, the ground trembled beneath their feet. A low rumble that grew into a cacophonous roar, as if the earth itself was in anguish. From the well, a chilling vapor began to rise, coiling like serpents in the moonlight. The temperature dropped, breaths turning to mist, as Alex felt an icy dread wrap around their heart. Punctuated by a faint, 
rhythmic sound that seemed to echo through the trees. It was a soft, persistent tapping, like the beat of a heart or the footsteps of someone or something following just out of sight. Every instinct screamed at Alex to run, but the dense underbrush and the disorienting darkness made it impossible to move quickly. The path, now barely more than a trail, wound its way through a thicket of gnarled trees, their twisted branches casting grotesque shadows that danced in the faint moonlight. The air grew colder, a chill that seeped into Alex's bones, sapping their strength and will. Despite the fear, a strange curiosity propelled them forward, the need to understand what lay at the end of this nightmarish journey. Suddenly, the path opened up into a small clearing, the moon breaking through the clouds to reveal an ancient stone well in the center. The tapping sound was louder here, and as Alex approached, they realized it was coming from within the well itself. Peering over the edge, they could see nothing but darkness, the sound echoing up from the unseen depths. Compelled by an unknown force, Alex found a length of rope coiled beside the well, and with trembling hands, began to lower it into the darkness. The rope unraveled slowly, the tapping growing more frantic, as if whatever lay below was aware of their presence. Just as the rope seemed to hit the bottom, a sudden force yanked it from Alex's grasp, pulling it down into the abyss with incredible force. Stunned, Alex stumbled back from the well, their heart racing. The tapping had stopped, replaced by a low, guttural moan that seemed to emanate from the ground itself. The earth around the well began to tremble, small fissures appearing in the soil as if something below was trying to break free. In a panic, Alex turned to flee the clearing, but the path by which they had entered was gone, replaced by an impenetrable wall of thorns and vines. They were trapped, with no choice but to face whatever horrors lay in wait. The ground continued to shake, the moaning growing louder, more urgent. As Alex watched in horror, a shadowy form began to emerge from the well, its features obscured by the darkness. It was tall and gaunt, with limbs that seemed to stretch unnaturally long. The creature's movements were jerky, as if it were not accustomed to the physical world, its eyes glowing with a malevolent light, frozen in fear. Alex could only watch as the creature advanced, its intentions unknown, but undoubtedly sinister. The story ends here, leaving Alex's fate uncertain and the true nature of the creature a mystery. What happens next in this chilling tale remains to be written. The creature's approach was slow and deliberate. Its every movement accompanied by the sound of the earth itself, protesting its presence. Alex, rooted to the spot by a mixture of fear and fascination, could only watch as the being drew nearer, its form becoming clearer with each step. It was as if the creature was made of the night itself, a shadow given shape and purpose, with eyes that burned like coals in the dark. As it reached the edge of the clearing, the creature stopped, tilting its head as if examining Alex with a curious, almost inquisitive intent. The air around it seemed to warp and shift, a palpable sense of unease that tugged at the edges of Alex's mind, urging them to flee, yet holding them firmly in place. Suddenly, the creature spoke, its voice a cacophony of whispers that
that seemed to come from all directions at once. Why do you come here, child of light? It asked, the words twisting in the air. Do you seek the truths buried beneath the soil? Or do you simply stumble blindly into the abyss? Alex, surprised by their own courage, managed to stammer a response. I, I was lost. I didn't mean to come here. The words felt hollow, an inadequate explanation for the surreal nightmare they found themselves in. The creature cocked its head, considering, many paths lead here, but few choose to see where they truly lead. You stand at the threshold, yet you do not understand the significance of your journey. With a sweeping gesture, the creature indicated the well. This is not merely a place of darkness. It is a crossroads, a point where worlds converge. The ground trembled again, more violently this time, as if in response to the creature's words. From the fissures around the well, a faint light began to emerge, casting an otherworldly glow on the clearing. The creature stepped back, merging with the shadows as it gestured for Alex to approach the well. Driven by a force they could neither understand nor resist, Alex moved towards the well, the light growing brighter with each step. As they peered into the depths, the light coalesced into images, fleeting glimpses of other places, other times, each more bizarre and alien than the last. The creature's voice echoed in the clearing once more, a whisper that seemed to come from within Alex's own mind. The well sees all, past and future, dreams and nightmares. Gaze into its depths, know the price of your curiosity. And with that, the images in the well surged upwards, enveloping Alex in a blinding light, the creature's laughter echoing in the void. The story pauses here, leaving Alex caught between realities. The nature of the well and the creature's true intentions shrouded in mystery. What lies beyond this moment of revelation remains to be seen, engulfed in the blinding light. Alex felt as though they were being pulled through a vortex, a swirling maelstrom of images and sensations that defied the laws of time and space. Each vision that flashed before their eyes was more disorienting than the last. Glimpses of worlds that seemed to be crafted from the very essence of nightmares. As the initial shock began to subside, Alex realized that they were no longer standing at the edge of the well. Instead, they found themselves in one of the visions, a tangible part of the surreal landscape that had consumed them. The ground beneath their feet was a mosaic of shifting patterns the sky a swirling tapestry of colors that had no place in the natural world. In the distance, a towering structure loomed, its architecture an impossible blend of organic curves and geometric angles, as if it had been grown rather than built. Drawn by an inexplicable compulsion, Alex began to move towards it each step bringing new wonders and horrors into view. The air was filled with a cacophony of sounds, from the haunting melodies of unseen creatures to the discordant whispers of the wind itself, carrying words and languages that Alex could not understand, but felt oddly familiar. The very atmosphere seemed alive, pulsating with an energy that resonated with the core of their being. As Alex drew closer to the structure, they noticed figures moving in the shadows, beings that defied description. Their 
forms constantly shifting and changing. Some seemed curious, others indifferent, but none made any move to approach, as if Alex was an anomaly that had yet to be classified in their unfathomable existence. Suddenly, from the heart of the structure, a new figure emerged. Unlike the others, its form was stable, a humanoid silhouette radiating a soft, ethereal light. Its features were indistinct, but in its presence, Alex felt a sense of calm amidst the chaos, a beacon of clarity in a world that made no sense. The figure spoke, its voice clear and resonant in the tumultuous environment. You have traversed the boundary, Wanderer. You stand at the nexus of realities, where the threads of fate converge. What you seek lies within. But be warned, the path you tread is fraught with peril. Not all who venture here return unchanged. With that, the figure gestured towards an opening in the structure portal that pulsed with the same ethereal light that emanated from the being itself. Alex hesitated, the warning echoing in their mind, yet the urge to understand, to uncover the truth behind this surreal odyssey, was overwhelming. Stepping forward, Alex crossed the threshold, the light enveloping them once more transporting them to yet another realm of existence, or perhaps to the heart of the mystery itself. The story pauses here, leaving Alex on the precipice of discovery. The nature of the Nexus and its guardian, a puzzle yet to be solved. What lies beyond the portal and how it will shape Alex's journey remains a tale for another time. As Alex stepped through the portal, the intense light that had enveloped them faded, revealing a landscape that was starkly different from the chaotic realm they had just left. They found themselves standing in a vast, desolate expanse, where the ground was cracked and barren, stretching endlessly under a sky devoid of stars. In this new world, Silence reigned, a stark contrast to the cacophony of the previous realm. The air was heavy, laden with a sense of anticipation, as if the very atmosphere was holding its breath. In the distance, a solitary figure stood, its back to Alex, gazing out over the desolate landscape. Compelled by an unknown force, Alex began to walk towards the figure. With each step, the ground beneath their feet seemed to whisper. The faint, 
indistinct sounds merging into a low murmur that echoed the creature's warning about the perilous path and the transformations it could bring. As they drew closer, the figure slowly turned to face Alex, revealing features that were hauntingly familiar, yet eerily distorted. As if seen through a warped mirror, figure's eyes held a depth of sorrow and knowledge that was almost too much to bear. And in them, Alex saw reflections of the myriad realms they had traversed, each one leaving its mark upon their soul. The figure spoke, its voice a mere whisper, yet it carried clearly in the oppressive silence. You have journeyed far, wanderer beyond the veil of your own reality into the heart of the Nexus. Each step has altered you, weaving the essence of these realms into the fabric of your being. Can you feel the change? Alex reached out, a sense of duality washing over them as they touched the figure's hand. In that moment, a flood of memories and emotions surged through them not all their own. It was as though they were standing at the crossroads of countless lives, each path a thread in the intricate tapestry of the Nexus. The figure gestured towards the horizon, where a faint light began to shimmer, growing steadily brighter. The Nexus is the sum of all possibilities, a place where lost souls wander in search of answers. Be wary, for not all answers bring solace. The light you see is the threshold between worlds, a gateway that leads back to your own reality or to further mysteries. Torn between the desire to return home and the urge to explore the unknown, Alex stood at the brink of decision. The figure's final words hung in the air, a solemn reminder of the journey's weight. Choose wisely, wanderer, for each path bears its own burdens. And remember, the Nexus is always watching, its secrets ever ready to ensnare the unwary. With the figure fading into the landscape, Alex turned towards the growing light, the pull of their own world tugging at their heart. Yet the allure of the unknown whispered seductively, promising wonders and horrors beyond imagination. The story pauses here, leaving Alex at the cusp of a pivotal choice. Their next step, a mystery that hangs in the balance, waiting to be unveiled in the continuation of this tale, with the light beckoning and the figure's words echoing in their mind. Alex faced the horizon, the shimmering gateway seeming to pulse with an ethereal rhythm, as if alive. The desolate landscape, with its whispering cracks and oppressive silence, seemed to hold its breath, awaiting Alex's decision. The choice was a crucible, testing the very essence of who Alex had become through this surreal odyssey. To return to the familiar confines of their own world carried the promise of safety, a return to normalcy, yet the allure of the unknown, the potential to explore further mysteries within the Nexus, offered a path fraught with danger, but rich with the potential for enlightenment. As Alex took a step towards the light, a sudden chill swept over the landscape. The silence shattered by a distant, mournful howl that seemed both foreign and intimately familiar. The sound resonated with the very core of Alex's being, a siren call that tugged at the newly woven threads of their altered soul. Halting, Alex glanced back at the vast expanse fading figure and the 
myriad paths that lay unexplored. The howl echoed again, closer this time, a haunting reminder of the realms they had traversed and the entities that lurked within. It was a sound that spoke of ancient secrets and hidden truths, a voice from the depths of the Nexus itself, torn between the safety of return and the call of the unknown. Alex realized that their journey had changed them in ways they were only beginning to understand. The Nexus, with its infinite possibilities, had left an indelible mark on their soul, intertwining their destiny with the fabric of countless realities. With a deep, steadying breath, Alex made their choice. They turned, facing the source of the howl, their resolve hardening. The light behind them seemed to flicker, its warmth fading as the call of the Nexus grew stronger. Alex's step forward was a commitment a silent vow to embrace the complexities of their altered existence and to seek out the mysteries that lay hidden in the shadows of the unknown. The ground beneath their feet began to tremble, the air around them charged with anticipation. The howl grew into a chorus, a symphony of voices from the realms beyond, welcoming Alex to the path they had chosen. The story pauses here leaving Alex on the threshold of a new chapter in their journey. The gateway behind them, and the untold mysteries of the Nexus ahead. What lies beyond is a tale yet to be told. A story waiting to unfold in the endless possibilities of the unknown. Emboldened by their decision, Alex advanced towards the source of the haunting chorus, their footsteps echoing on the cracked ground. With each step, the landscape seemed to transform, the barren expanse giving way to a dense, shadowy forest, the trees towering and ancient, their branches intertwining to form a canopy that blotted out the sky. The chorus of howls grew more harmonious, guiding Alex deeper into the forest. The air was thick with an otherworldly mist, swirling around their feet, leading them along a path that seemed to materialize just steps ahead. The forest was alive with whispers, the leaves rustling with secrets, and the shadows shifting as if watching Alex's progress. Suddenly, the path opened into a clearing, at the center of which stood an ancient stone altar, its surface covered in intricate carvings that glowed faintly with an inner light. The chorus of howls ceased abruptly, replaced by a palpable silence that hung heavy in the air. Before the altar, a spectral figure appeared its form more defined than the shadows that flitted through the forest, yet still translucent and shifting. It regarded Alex with an inscrutable gaze, its eyes deep wells of knowledge and sorrow. You have chosen the path less trodden, wanderer, the figure spoke, its voice a whisper 
that seemed to resonate within Alex's very soul. The way ahead is fraught with perils unknown, but also with truths that few have dared to seek. What you find at the end of this journey may not be what you expect, nor what you desire. The spectral figure gestured towards the altar, where the carvings began to move, forming images that depicted scenes of other worlds, other lives, each connected by a thread that seemed to lead back to the nexus. These are the paths that await you, the choices that will define your journey. Each step you take will alter not only your fate, but the fabric of the nexus itself. Alex stepped closer to the altar, drawn by the shifting images. They saw worlds of unimaginable beauty and realms consumed by darkness. Each vision a promise of discovery and a warning of the dangers that lay ahead as they reached out to touch the glowing carvings. The spectral figure spoke once more. Remember, wanderer, that every light casts a shadow. And in seeking the truth, you may also uncover lies that have long been hidden. The balance of the nexus is delicate, and your journey will tip the scales in ways you cannot yet comprehend. With a final glance at the spectral figure, Alex touched the altar glowing carvings pulsing beneath their fingertips. The world around them shifted, the forest dissolving into a maelstrom of light and shadow, propelling them into the next chapter of their journey through the Nexus. The story pauses here, with Alex embarking on a new path filled with untold mysteries and challenges. Their fate intertwined the very essence of the Nexus. What lies ahead is a tapestry of possibilities. Each thread, a story waiting to be unraveled in the continuation of this ever-evolving tale. Propelled by the energy from the altar, Alex found themselves hurtling through a vortex of shifting realities. The boundaries between worlds blurring and reforming with dizzying speed. When the tumultuous journey finally came to an abrupt halt, Alex was standing in a landscape that was at once both hauntingly familiar and unsettlingly alien. The sky above was a tapestry of twilight, streaked with hues of deep purples and reds, casting a surreal glow over a sprawling cityscape that lay before them. The buildings were a mishmash of architectural styles, some towering and futuristic, others ancient and crumbling, as if different eras had collided and fused together in this one place. As Alex ventured into the city, the streets were eerily deserted, the silence punctuated only by their own footsteps echoing off the empty buildings. The air was thick with a sense of expectation, as though the city itself was holding its breath, waiting for something or someone to break the stillness. Without warning, a flicker of movement caught Alex's eye, a shadow darting between the buildings, then another and another, until it became clear that the city was not as abandoned as it had first seemed. Figures moved in the periphery of Alex's vision, just out of focus, their forms indistinct and ghostly. Drawn deeper into the city, Alex came upon a grand square, at the center of which stood a monument unlike any they had seen before. It was a colossal statue, depicting a figure that was both human and otherworldly, its features noble yet terrifying. The statue's eyes seemed to follow Alex, its gaze piercing into their very soul. Beneath the statue, 
A gathering of figures stood in a circle, their attention focused on a point in the ground where a faint light pulsed rhythmically, like the heartbeat of the city itself. As Alex approached, the figures turned to face them, revealing themselves to be guardians of this place, each bearing the mark of the nexus in their eyes. You have come far, traveler, one of the guardians spoke, their voice resonating with the power of the city around them. But the path you seek is fraught with dangers that will test the very limits of your resolve. The heart of the city holds the key to your journey's end, but also to its beginning. The ground beneath the square began to tremble, the pulsing light growing brighter casting stark shadows across the faces of the guardians. They stepped aside, opening a path for Alex to the heart of the city, to the source of the light that beckoned with promises of answers and the potential for more questions. As Alex moved towards the light, the air around them shimmered, the fabric of reality thinning, hinting convergence of multiple worlds within this nexus point. The story pauses here, with Alex on the verge of uncovering truths that could unravel the mysteries of the nexus, or entangle them further in its infinite complexities. What lies at the heart of the city, and how it will shape Alex's journey, remains shrouded in the unfolding narrative of this relentless odyssey. As Alex approached the pulsing heart of the city, the ground beneath them cracked open, revealing a staircase spiraling down into darkness. The guardians remained silent, their stoic expressions offering no guidance or warning, only the weight of unspoken expectations. With a deep breath, Alex began to descend the staircase, the light from the square fading with each step until they were enveloped in darkness. The only sound was their own footsteps echoing off the stone walls, a solitary rhythm in the oppressive silence. Suddenly, the staircase ended, and Alex stepped out onto a vast underground cavern. Bioluminescent fungi cast a soft, eerie glow, illuminating a landscape that was both beautiful and foreboding. The cavern was alive with strange, whispering sounds, the origins of which were impossible to discern. Shadows moved in the periphery, always just beyond clear sight, suggesting the presence of unseen watchers. In the center of the cavern, stood an ancient structure, its architecture a blend of organic curves and sharp geometric angles, as if it had been carved from the earth itself by forces both natural and otherworldly. The structure pulsed with a soft light, in rhythm with the pulsing light Alex had seen in the square above. Drawn to the structure, Alex moved forward their footsteps now muffled by a thick moss that carpeted the ground. As they approached, the whispering sounds grew louder, an indecipherable chorus that seemed to emanate from the very walls of the cavern. The entrance to the structure was an archway filled with a veil of shimmering light. The air around it vibrating with energy, Alex reached out, their hand hovering inches from the light, feeling the warmth and power radiating from within. Taking a deep breath, Alex stepped through the archway and into the light. Instantly, they were engulfed in a whirlwind of sound and color, a torrent of visions flashing before their eyes, scenes from their journey through the Nexus, the choices they had made, and the paths they had walked, all played out 
in rapid succession. chaos of memories, new images began to emerge, visions of possible futures, of paths yet to be taken, and of the countless ways in which the nexus could unfold. Each vision was a thread in the intricate tapestry of the nexus, and Alex understood that their journey was not just their own, a part of something much larger, a story that spanned the breadth of existence. As the visions began to fade, Alex found themselves standing in a new part of the structure, a chamber whose walls were lined with mirrors. Each mirror reflected a different aspect of Alex, some familiar, others completely alien representing the myriad ways in which their journey through the Nexus could change them. In the center of the chamber stood a pedestal, upon which rested an object that pulsed with a light that seemed to contain the essence of the Nexus itself. As Alex approached, the mirrors began to whisper, their voices merging into a single question that echoed in the chamber. Who will you become? The story pauses here, leaving Alex in the chamber of mirrors, confronted with the profound impact of their journey and the choices that lie ahead, what the object on the pedestal represents, and how it will influence Alex's journey through the Nexus, remains a mystery, a narrative thread waiting to be woven into the ongoing saga of their odyssey through the realms of the unknown, drawn irresistibly towards the pulsing heart of the city. Alex navigated the maze of streets, each turn revealing more of the city's paradoxical nature, where the ancient and the futuristic existed side by side in a surreal harmony, the light grew more intense, illuminating the path ahead and casting long, dancing shadows that seemed to move of their own accord. As they reached the source of the light, Alex found themselves in front of an imposing structure that towered above the cityscape. Its design an enigmatic blend of geometry and chaos, as if it were a physical manifestation of the nexus itself. The building's entrance was a gaping maw, leading into darkness that the light seemed unable to penetrate. The guardian's words echoed in Alex's mind as they stood before the threshold, the sense of foreboding growing stronger each passing moment, the heart of the city was close, its secrets within reach, but the darkness that lay ahead was unlike any they had encountered before. It was a darkness that seemed alive, pulsating with unseen energies and untold mysteries. 
compelled by a mixture of fear and determination, Alex stepped forward, crossing into the darkness. The light from outside faded instantly, swallowed by the oppressive gloom. The air was thick, charged with a palpable energy that made every breath feel like a battle. As their eyes adjusted to the darkness, Alex began to discern shapes in the gloom, vast and towering structures within the building that defied explanation. They seemed to be both solid and insubstantial, their forms shifting and changing with each blink of the eye. Whispers filled the air, voices that seemed to come from the very walls, speaking in languages that were both unfamiliar and eerily reminiscent of the choruses Alex had heard in the forest. The words were indecipherable, yet they carried an emotional weight that tugged at the edges of Alex's consciousness. Deeper into the darkness, Alex ventured, drawn by an unseen force towards the center of the structure, where the whispers grew louder, coalescing into a single harmonious voice that resonated with the very core of the nexus. The voice spoke of ancient truths and cosmic mysteries, of the intertwined fates of countless worlds and the travelers who dared to traverse the nexus. The darkness began to recede, revealing a chamber at the heart of the structure, where a single point of light hovered in the air, pulsating with the rhythm of a heartbeat. Around the light, the shadows danced, forming patterns that told the story of the Nexus, its creation, and its purpose. As Alex reached out towards the light, the chamber trembled, the air vibrating with the power of the unfolding revelation. The story pauses here, with Alex on the brink of uncovering the heart of the Nexus, the truth that binds together the myriad paths and realms, what lies within the light, and how it will shape the destiny of both Alex and the Nexus, remains a mystery, poised on the edge of discovery in the continuation of this enigmatic tale. As Alex approached the pulsing heart of the city, the ground beneath them cracked open, revealing a chasm that glowed with an otherworldly light. The guardians formed a circle around the opening, their chants rising into the twilight sky, creating a harmonious yet haunting melody that seemed to resonate with the very essence of the Nexus. Compelled by forces beyond their understanding, Alex stepped forward, drawn to the edge of the chasm. The light emanating from within was hypnotic, swirling with colors that had no name, depths that seemed to stretch into infinity. The air was charged with energy, the whispers of a thousand worlds converging in this one point. As the guardian's chants reached a crescendo, the figures that had been lurking in the shadows of the city emerged, forming a spectral audience to the unfolding spectacle. Their eyes glowed with anticipation, their silent presence a testament to the significance of this moment. With a final look at the world around them, Alex took a deep breath and stepped into the chasm, surrendering to the pull of the Nexus. The fall was like no other, a descent through layers of reality, each one peeling away to reveal the next, a kaleidoscope of existence flashing before Alex's eyes. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, the descent ended. Alex found themselves standing in the center of an ancient forest, the city and its guardians gone as if they had never been. The 
the night was silent, save for the soft whisper of the wind through the trees. But this was no ordinary forest. The trees were impossibly tall, their branches intertwining to form a canopy that blotted out the stars. The air was thick with an ancient power, a primal force that pulsed the very soil beneath Alex's feet. In the heart of the forest stood a tree unlike any other, its trunk wide and gnarled, its roots spreading out in all directions, and within its trunk a door carved with symbols that shimmered with a faint, ethereal light. As Alex approached, the door creaked open, revealing a darkness so profound it seemed to swallow the light. From within, a voice spoke, a voice that was both familiar and utterly alien. Welcome, traveler, it said, its tone laced with a malevolence that chilled Alex to the bone. You have journeyed far and seen much, but the true test lies ahead. Will you enter and face the darkness within, or will you flee and forsake the answers you seek? The choice was Alex's alone to make. But as they stood before the ancient tree, the air filled with the sounds of the forest coming alive, a chorus of whispers and howls that seemed to urge them forward. With a final glance at the world they had left behind, Alex stepped through the door, the darkness enveloping them like a shroud. The door closed with a sound like thunder, and the forest was silent once more. And so, Alex's journey into the heart of the Nexus came to an end. A journey that had begun with a single step into the unknown, what lay beyond the door, in the depths of the ancient tree, was a mystery that would remain shrouded in darkness. A tale for another time, in another world. The story concludes here, with Alex's fate left to the imagination. A reminder of the thin line that separates the known from the unknowable, and the light from the darkest depths of the Nexus.